Yo la squad, content de vous retrouver pour une nouvelle vidéo. Aujourd'hui, vidéo un peu particulière, je pense que tu l'as vu dans le titre, il va s'agir d'un montage pour voir l'évolution de la saga NBA 2K à travers le temps. En effet, cette année avec NBA 2K19, c'était la 20 e édition, et vous doutez bien qu'en 20 jeux différents, il y a eu quelques petits changements, notamment au niveau des graphismes. Cette vidéo est là pour vous montrer rapidement cette évolution sur 20 ans, car en ce moment, du fait qu'NBA 2K19 est à 3€ sur le PS Store, il y a énormément de nouveaux joueurs qui ne connaissent pas forcément la série, etc., etc. Donc si vous ne connaissez pas tous ces jeux ou vous voulez revoir l'évolution d'NBA 2K, cette vidéo est là pour ça. Je pense que vous vous doutez qu'on n'est pas passé des pixels ignobles au graphisme 4K en juste un ou deux ans. N'hésite surtout pas à me dire quel était ton 2K préféré et pour quelle raison rapidement en commentaire. Je te laisse avec la vidéo, je te souhaite une bonne journée. N'hésite pas à liker, à t'abonner si ce n'est pas déjà fait. Allez me soutenir sur YouTube. Peace out The Bulls have it to open the game. The Bulls pass it around looking for the shot. The ball's loose. Brand unable to connect. They're looking to run the court. The defender didn't have a chance on that one, Bob. He faded back as he released the ball and just dropped it right in. He is the master. The Spurs will start with the ball. Take him, take him. Work it. It's loose. Picks his pocket. Anderson is whistled for reaching in. He went for the ball, but got on. Easy call for the ref. Hill will inbound this one. Seven seconds to shoot. Hill puts the first points on the board. The Magic get the opening tip to start the game. They had a chance, but they didn't get him the ball. Stolen. Mashburn puts the first points on the board. Oh, sweet shot. He caught the D a little off guard, nailed the easy two. Great job. They pass it inside. Armstrong drops it in from the paint. The Spurs take the tip off to start the game. Duncan is looking for the ball. Puts it up from 11, drains the first bucket of the game. Sweet shot against some fine defense. It's so much fun seeing these two go mano a mano. Kid rises up. Gets fouled, he'll shoot a pair. Easy call right there. He was mugged. He gets the first of two. And the Cavaliers control the tip off and we'll get this one started. To James. Right side pass. Lob to Davis. Davis goes to the drop step. The outside fadeaway was no good by Davis. If he can't make those when he's that open, maybe you better pass that shot up. Fakes. Received by Fox. Seven on the shot clock. They're inside. Kobe shoots from the post. No worries. The Lakers control the tip off, and we'll get this one started. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Bob. I spoke with the Pistons head coach back by the locker room, and he told me that their goal is to prevent penetration. He said, quote, with the skill that they have at getting to the rim, we want to shut down the drive and force them to shoot over the top as much as possible. The task is laid out, and we'll see if they can execute the ball and send it back to you. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, grab the rock inside. Tayshaun Prince went up strong in the lane, but with the defensive pressure, it was too tough a shot to make. Nice effort. Cans the shot. The Lakers control the tip-off, and we'll get this one started to Odom. 
Swings it to Bryant. Crosses it over. Bryant bounces off the left rim and out. Couldn't can it that time, but you keep taking it to the rack like that, and good things are going to happen. From 11 feet away, can't capitalize. The Heat control the tip-off and will get this one started. Passes it to the left. To O'Neal. Walker shoots. Bearings the triple. The defense was a little slow to set it up, and they got caught napping. Now our sideline reporter, Craig Sager, has some information for us as we get this Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, guys, I had a chance to talk with Mike Brown, coach of the Cavaliers. He told me that their main challenge is to slow down the inside game. He said he's got to play tough, challenge the entry pass, and try not to give up too much ground in the paint. Good. Hands it off. Passes it to the right. To Hughes. Crosses it over. James from 17 feet out. LeBron. Let's it go. Scores the opening field goal. LeBron James so remarkably talented. Yeah, and so complete, Kev. He's got the whole package. He's still the age of some rookies, and he's already closing in on 10,000 points. Incredible. Dishes to Collison. Right wing, all alone, drilled in by Pavlovich. The Warriors control the tip off and will get this one started. Ellis gets the bucket and the foul. Potential three point play now, Kevin. He earned that one. If the Golden State Warriors could just be a better defensive rebounding team, Clark, think of how quickly or more quickly they could trigger their break. I mean, they'd be a blur. Monte Ellis, a one-man break under his own. But then think of his wing players and running spaces and, and staying in their lanes and all the things they do so well. If they could just rebound the ball back, if they could just have a better defensive rebounding percentage, they'd be even on the other side, Clark, how about the Lakers? What's the key for them? Perennial MVP candidate Kobe Bryant. What doesn't he do? Well, we know he scores, but you know he's become even more of a leader, and I think he appreciates what's around him. I agree with you wholeheartedly there. He knows he's going to need to score big points on a regular basis, but he also knows he has a little more help this season. It ought to be a compelling game to watch. Thanks, Clark. And Cleveland has possession, following the bucket by the Lakers. Here's Williams, off target for three. So it's the Lakers now. Kobe backs in. From 17 feet out. And the Spurs start out with the ball. Parker outside. Outside Hill. Pass to Duncan. Brewer with the steal. Make the easy pass. That's what happens when you don't. Grand Hill covering. Brewer. No good. Good D by Parker. Well, the defense put pressure on him, and frankly, he'll miss some of those even when he's wide open. Here's Duncan. It's blocked. And 
so the tip off. It's Miami. And Chalmers kicks to LeBron. Back to Chalmers. The dish to Battier. Shoots over Cartwright. Battier shot good. Battier's got his team on the board to start the game for the Heat. Pass to Paxson. Passes it to Cartwright. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here for Chicago. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the game. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And so the tip off. It's Miami. Wade outside. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Wade's got the game going here with the first basket for the Heat. And back to the Spurs and their strategy of resting their star players, not without some controversy. The NBA, as you may recall, find the Spurs and Coach Popovich for sitting all their starting players for a nationally televised game back in November. Well, it was their fourth game in five nights, and Pop wanted to rest some of their guys because of just the other sideline reporter, Doris Burke. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So on the floor for Cleveland, Irving and Waiters, the guards. The two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. And it's very Zhao, and it's the five down low. That's good. Dion Waiters, a terrific scoring combo guard. He tantalizes you with that talent. Right behind the ball handle, shooting, athleticism. Boy, he has a ton of potential. Harden dishes to Howard. Oh, and that one, no question. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Turner passes to Lee. The Celtics working the ball around now. Smart kicks to Zeller. Let's it go from 11. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Zeller's got the first basket of the game for the Celtics. You know, one of the things, guys, that impressed me about the Celtics was the number of assists they had. I mean, they really focused on moving the ball. And when you do that... Later on in the season. You know, I think earlier you're trying to find your way. You're trying to get into the rhythm. You don't want to peak too fast. And then at the end of the year, you start to have it all come together. You want to steamroll right into the playoffs. I would think for a player and for a team, peaking at the right time is the most difficult thing to accomplish. Yeah, sometimes you get off to a great start. And you're saying, can we hold yes. this? Yeah. But if you're the Warriors, they held serve throughout the entire 73 season. times. Yes. That you're right. Yeah, for an NBA record. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Sharpshooters Irving and J.R. Smith are the backcourt duo. Love and Thompson, the hard rebounding post pair. And it's James. And so off the tip, it's Boston. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the floor for Boston. Hayward outside at the three with Morris to his side at the four. Smart is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Horford in its center. And it's fascinating to see these new look rosters, former teammates going head to head. This is a matchup we could see plenty more of come playoff time. Clock at six. Here's LeBron. Well, you look no further than the Golden State Warriors, who, when they are playing with pace and out in transition and the threes are flying, it's electric and, frankly, almost unstoppable. But they walk that delicate line of playing fast without turning it over. You want to give these great players freedom. But within that freedom, they've got to make sure, okay, we've got to value the basketball. And, yes, we can maybe turn it over 10 times per game. But we get north of 10, 15 turnovers, and that's going to put us in a little bit of a problematic situation. Good.